Hi guys, let's look at how you can use macros to populate a report. Like for example guys, in this system, I want to produce the receipt uh, for these guys uh, and for that case a receipt is a report. So right now we are in January, then let's say this guy paid 5600 Kenya shillings, then water bill 4500, electricity 2500, then Wi Fi uh, 2000. Then this other guy here paid 5600, paid 4500, paid a higher amount, also paid a higher amount. Then we have also this guy, the, we just put in a figure. Then we also have another one. These are just demonstration figures. Let's say this is a rental management system guys after this uh, money has been entered into the system you need to produce individual receipts like i need to produce for john shark so i hit on john sharks then hit print receipt so you can see guys this is receipt for john sharks guys uh, what i have done here i have used a macro to populate this receipt and that is exactly what I want to show you how that one is done. So guys, I just cross this one, then open win-win, this one. I open this one. So let me just redo it so that I can be in a position to show you how that one is accomplished. So guys, we just cancel this, cancel that. Then I open this one, guys. Still hasn't uh, done what I want so, so we, we do that again we redo that let me hope good so here I have this report guys I have this report yeah this is the report so I want to open this report using a macro for that case you need to go to the query so go to the query and redirect the form so this is the form uh, this is whatever should be put there but the main point here is how to use a macro to open a report so guys uh, you just open this form now I add a button so I just use toggle button I like using toggle button so I want to open this one and write this one open receipt open receipt so this is my button can we give it a different color so it's red in color and white this is white so this is what i have guys and for that case i need to use a macro to uh, i want to use a macro to open this report so what i need to do is just go to that button then go to properties then go to event procedure here guys go to event procedure on click event what happens on click event uh, sorry instead of now using event procedure you hit these three dots then you choose macro builder then click on ok so here you just type open report open report and press enter then uh, access will ask you for the report name so i just go to print report and save it so once i am done with that one i am done with uh, uh, connecting the report with the macro so in case i now run this one then hit don gicha here then open receipt guys you can see for yourself so this one will automatically uh, open the report for what you want so basically uh, in case also i want to open a form just do the same so I just go to design view, then I, I take a toggle button. So I just want to have open tenants. So open tenants form. So this is my form, guys. So I just uh, go and make it as I wish. Then I need it to, to have uh, that one. Then guys, I just go to design, then property sheet. So on the property sheet here, you choose on click, 
on creek event, then, uh, no, sorry, on creek, then you hit the three dots, then macro builder, then you click on OK. Then here you just type open form, then the same case comes here, you open tenants, then save. There we are, it's done. So you can see it's very easy to use a macro to accomplish anything you wish. Like now, guys, if I click on this button, the same will do the same, you see? It will automatically open the tenants, uh, that is the tenants uh, report, just like uh, I want it done. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember always to subscribe, remember to share, and also remember to comment on the comment zone. Thank you very much.